It seems there is no end to the road about President Anthony Carmona back and forth. Today, the U Electra, who says she's an activist, said she delivered a letter to the acting commissioner of police requesting an investigation into President Carmona's receipt of a housing allowance. She also claims since she raised this issue, there have been threats on her life. Melissa Dasrath filed this report. Rhoda Barath, UE lecturer, author and activist, is calling for an investigation into allegations of misconduct by President Anthony Carmona. She said the president received a 28,000 monthly housing allowance at the state's expense between July 2013 and May 2015 to cover four townhouse units at his Flagstaff Hill quarters. Ms. Barrett said her attorney, Justin Phelps, sought the advice of Queen's Counsel, Catherine McGarthy. Ms. McGarthy, QC, has advised me that a request for such an investigation is justified. She has concluded in her advice to me, and I'm quoting, this is finely balanced, but I believe that there are at the moment reasonable grounds to suspect that the offense of misconduct in public office has been committed. The advice of QC McCarthy was that there is reasonable grounds that a request for the housing allowance was made on the president's behalf and with his knowledge, knowing that he was not entitled to it. In a letter addressed to the Commissioner of Police dated October 26, she requested an investigation into the matter. That I have written to the Commissioner about the issue of the housing allowance, which has been an unresolved national issue for some two years. My writing to the Commissioner does not mean that the President, the Accounting Officer, or the Chief Personal Officer are guilty of any offense. It means only that there is sufficient material in connection with the receipt of public funds by the President to warrant a thorough, efficient, and transparent criminal investigation. Ms. Barrett, who insists she is not politically motivated, said she has been bombarded with threats for speaking out on this issue but she said she is confident that the police commissioner will take positive action. Melissa Dasroth for C News.